so welcome back again to my channel if you watch my last stream you will already know that I'm building um, the web page for storing all my reusable component reusable element um, reusable template whatever you call it so I can use it uh, later on my project but I will not talk about that um, I found that uh, even if we even if I already have like uh, the template itself it's kind of hard if I just wanna preview on the page like uh, let's say I'm gonna add uh, some uh, about us page here and okay let's say I will add some hero and the card here so uh, I will go to the template and finding the find the, the element the temp uh, the template here and insert okay and the second and second se uh, step is yeah add, add, add the card save and perfect it here yeah this is the usually oh we all do this like like this right to see uh, is if it's good or no uh whether the, the element is uh okay this is good on about us page but oh yeah no this card i don't think this card is is good on the the about us page so i have to like, delete this save this and then re reload this i think this step is this process is kind of waste of my time little bit yeah so i think like can we do uh like since i'm using uh, i'm storing the template in my custom post type how can i uh, save the component on the front end using some cookies and then query all the component on some page like this on the page builder let me show you so let's say uh, i will uh, delete oh yeah there is no cookie right cool oh um, let's see yep so let's say uh this is the uh, custom post type if i if i preview here let's say here one um this uh, element you can see uh, this is the sort code of the bricks template so i store the bricks template inside the custom post type so i can preview it and then i add some button to save the page this will save this post id this custom post id into a cookies you can see like there is a cookies called a favorite post and then the, the value this is the post id of this page and then on learning page builder this page will query the post using this id and then retrieve the short code uh, which attach into the post so i think this will be good enough like make a little more faster to preview the page uh, is the element good enough is the combination of the this template a the template a and the template b is good on the page so let's add some uh, okay, card here and let's go back to uh, the page see since i query two posts there will be a two posts a uh, two short code with a uh, uh, from the two posts which queried on the page and then and uh, there is a little problem here the bricks editor can do the job um, it can like um, let's add some header and page header it can do drag and drop so we can put uh, reorder we can change the position of the section and I use slip.js uh, you can download it for free i think this that's open source so you can you you you, you be you uh, so i i, I can uh, able to drag drop the dom element so if you take a look at this the console so this post is a post id thousand so i can like click the those dom and then the other this is really nice right and I do need a 
two button. The first is to copy the element because mm, yeah, maybe I need some duplicate of the of, of the element of the template itself, or uh, delete the DOM element. So let's say um, let's add a head. Um, do I have? Oh yeah, I, I have header. So let's let's accept it. Okay. So let's put okay something like this, something like this, right? And let's I can copy this. Delete, copy. Yep, I think this is good. Like to, to preview uh, whether uh, the composition of uh, mo mo of the template is good on the page or no. Uh, let's say because uh, okay, uh, let's add this. Okay, let's move the position again. Oops. Oh yeah. And let's say. Okay, let's let let's say I do this. I add this element. Uh, it's not good, right? If if I add those on this editor, it will take like couple of steps. Add, uh, add template, save, and then like uh, preview. Uh, oh yeah, it's not good. I back to builder. Uh, I de delete it, save it, and look it again. Uh, yeah, more good. Uh, yeah, the process will be like go back and forth like that. But if I do this, sorry, I can just like save and okay. Now this is good. This combination is good. So I think I found like a really good idea. Maybe I, I'll, I'm sure I'm, I'm gonna uh, uh, try this maybe on the next project. Not 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 on not, not on the next project, but maybe on the couple next couple months, like uh, two or three months, because I wanna make this uh, 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 at least it can do the job. Like there will be an an exporting to PDF, so the client can see the wireframe. Uh, if they ask like okay how where where is the, the skeleton where is this this the sketch where is the the wireframe I, I wanna see it before you design uh, all stuff like the color something yes I just add uh, component add the template save to PDF here play around with the position something like that and then maybe I will add a functionality to this like something like this stage and like, like like change the text so change the text export to PDF and then uh, I can send to the client hey this is a wireframe uh, do you agree do you think this will be look nice or no you agree with this kind of the wireframe something like that if he if he if they agree then uh, I can do the actual design uh, to be able to match with the identity of the website the purpose of website and something like that okay anyway um, this is just an update of my uh, current work current work I will keep updating about what I am doing um, on the next videos so thank you for watching and happy coding see you